All right. Hi, everyone. Um, it's 8.04 and we're going to start our class right now. Okay, so welcome everyone uh, to the Super Writers uh, Composition Online Writing Class. This is actually a free lesson that we are doing um, to benefit uh, most of the students in primary school, as well as those who may not have access to like tuition classes during this time. So um, this uh, compo that we're going to discuss today is called A Kind Act. All right. And this is a very... Um, easy composition topic. Some of you may have even done this in primary three or primary four. So um, we're going to go through this storyline, uh, this story, uh, the story ideas for this compo, um, because um, what's happening is that um, the easier the story, the harder it is to write a good story, right? The harder it is to come up with a story with a twist. Um, today, I have with me Miss Ong. Okay, she's the, the lady who you're seeing on the other screen. Hi, Miss Ong. Okay, hi. and uh, hi, yeah, and Miss Ong will be speaking to everyone in a while's time after I'm done. All right, so basically, Miss Ong is also an English teacher at Learning Journey, and she teaches majority of the primary five and six students. Yeah, okay. So before we start today, um, I'm gonna need everyone to help me to show to fill up a short poll so that I know um how many of you are in which levels, and then I can pitch my lesson to suit you better. Okay, okay, and we are going to continue with our presentation all right okay so we're gonna go on right now okay about me all right uh for those who do not know me i'm miss grace uh, my students call me teacher grace all right um basically i've been teaching for more than 10 years right now and I've, i'm the one who developed the super writers framework for our center as well as the english programs that we teach at our center up to uh ip secondary as well as the jc classes so um basically we are very happy to be helping students who come in to us with a fail or a borderline pass for their compo and their paper too and uh, at the end of the day when they graduate from learning journey we are very very happy that we are able to help them to achieve a much better grade than when they join us okay and uh, i have a master's in ni from nie ntu Okay, uh, and I actually wrote most of the curriculum for our center. So I'm also the one who wrote this assessment book. Okay, I'm not sure whether this assessment book is giving you nightmare, mm -hmm. but your mom or dad would have bought this from Popular Bookshop for you. And in this in this book, there's about 50 practices and there's also the Premier 5 version for those who are in Premier 5. Okay, I'm the one who wrote this book and uh, we're going to have an online course uh, to teach you how to use the techniques that we have shared in this book as well. All right? Okay, so how are we different? Learning journey, basically, uh, it's not just me. It's not just Miss Ong. We have 25 teachers with us, and they all share the same philosophy, which is we will help our students for those who want to help themselves. Okay, and uh, the emphasis that we have is on techniques. Okay, we don't just flood you with papers and compost without teaching you how to write or do them properly. All right, and uh, basically what happens is that we uh, curate a special set of materials um, for our students to use and our track record is that 75% of our students at PSLE they graduate for A or A star but the thing is that these students didn't join us with an A they join us with fail or borderline grades 85% of them so um, if you're wondering will we be able to do the same for you yes we can all right okay so we have also been featured on newspapers okay we have been on talking point um some of our students this is arun he's one of our students uh primary six uh he graduated last year he actually ended up on uh, talking point a few times as well and managed to attend a few of these uh, events and we have this um gentleman called nas daily and mr steve chia they have actually came to learning journey and we actually managed to film an episode on talking point together and of course, we have been on radio and there were filmings that took place uh, for our lower primary and pre-1 prep students as well. Okay, some, some rules before we start, okay? Number one, all messages will be moderated, like I mentioned just now. Please be patient as we're moderating your messages, yeah? And number two, okay, if you were to mouse over the chat button, all right? Do you see that there is actually two boxes? One is like a comment box. And the other one is something that says ask question with a question mark. All right. So if you have a specific question that you want to ask, ask me and Miss Ong, you can click on the ask question and type your question there. All right. And if we think that that is a good question, we will show it to everyone towards the end. And please participate. This is not a one way um, lecture where you're going to listen to me and Miss Ong talk for an hour. You are able to participate along with us as well. We learn together. All right. Okay. Um, next one, no vulgarities, 
no swearing, no rude messages, because if you do that, I'm going to block you. We are going to ask you, bye-bye, can you, you can go off now, okay? So please be polite when you're putting in your comments, okay, or when you're asking questions. And next, please do not spam the chat box, all right? Whatever is put in the chat will be sent to your parents later on. So you will not want to let your parents see something that you don't want them to see, okay? Okay, next, let's move on. All right, we're going to start with the session today. Okay, so um, we have given you three pictures here. Okay, the first is a picture of a toilet roll. Okay, who doesn't have a toilet roll at home? Okay, let me know. Okay, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have at home? Let me know. Okay, and secondly, we're going to give you a thank you note. And third picture, oops, oops. And the third picture, sorry. And the third picture that we have is of a supermarket. All right, everyone has been to the supermarket, right? Maybe before the circuit breaker started, you have accompanied your parents to the supermarket to help them with all their groceries. Okay, so these three pictures are not very difficult pictures. All right, you can use one, two, or all three pictures to write about a kind act. Okay, so the kind act that you are going to talk about can be uh, using any of these three pictures or even just one. Okay, that is the PSLE requirement for mommy and daddies who are not sure. Okay, basically, you can choose one, two, or all three pictures to write the composition. And we're going to share some really good stuff with you guys, okay? Um, I just want to assure you guys that this is not a session to upsell or cross-sell or whatever sales pitch to you guys to sign up for the classes at Learning Journey. That is not the intention of why we are holding this free online class uh, for the first time ever. We really want to help. Um, especially during this time, we know that it might be a bit difficult for your teachers in school to be giving you composition uh, practices to do. And for the P6s, I know that you are very worried because you are just afraid that you do not have enough practices. So therefore, we are doing this session to just share with you some of the things that our students at Learning Journey are doing. All our classes online are all live classes and the class size is limited to six students a class. So it basically means that you're not watching a pre-recorded video of me talking non-stop. You get to ask questions and then uh, if you do compost, the teachers actually will mark and go through them with you as well. Okay, so number one. So I need some inputs here, okay? Can you guys tell me what is considered as a kind act to you? Can you put it into your chat for me? Okay, what do you think is a kind act? Can you give me some ideas? What do you think is a kind act to you as a primary school student? Okay. If we are from Learning Journey, do we have to submit a compo? Of course. How can we not ask you to do compos, right? Okay. There's always homework. Okay. And there's always assignments to do. Okay. But you don't worry. Yeah? You don't have to write the compo like tonight. It's fine. We will, the teachers at Learning Journey will let you know when you have to submit the compo. All right. Okay. Very good. When you help someone, there's 150 words. Yes. Okay. Help somebody. Yes. Very good. Can you give me more, de more details of how are you helping someone and how is that considered a kind act? For example, yes, very good. Helping an old man cross the road, helping elderly, making breakfast for people. That's very, very nice. Okay, we have got a lot of messages flooding in right now. Whoa, do you helping do someone do? Wow, everyone knows how to. Can you give me something more specific rather than helping people? Like, um, how do you help someone and that's considered a kind act? You know, give me a more specific example. Someone who did something nice to me, doing kind things to others. Like what? Like what? Give me something more specific, please, guys. Okay? So, um, for example, if you your classmate lost his wallet, he has no money to eat for recess, and you decided to lend him your pocket money for the day. Okay. What do you mean by a kind act? Be more specific. Okay, you guys can continue to type. Huh? I'll go on, okay? Okay. Now, let's go to our three pictures. Okay, the first one, our humble toilet roll. Can you tell me in the chat, what do you think of when you see a roll of toilet paper now at this time? What do you think about when you see a roll of toilet paper? Okay, please keep your comments nice and polite, please. Otherwise, we'll kick you out huh, and say bye-bye, okay? And you can't listen to the rest of my workshop. Okay, helping them push a cart in the shopping mall. Very good. Offering seat. Very good. 
excellent ideas. Keep them coming, please. Okay, I hope you really have so many ideas when you're writing your combo during your exams, okay? Okay, don't get a mental block, okay? It's someone when you help, blah, blah, blah. What do you think of when you think, look at the row of toilet paper right now during this time? Maybe some of these think of the birthday cake because now there's birthday cake, which is a toilet roll, right? And then they stick the candle on top. Okay, what else do you think of when you think of when you think about a toilet roll at this point in time? Very interesting. I feel that there's 100 people talking to me at the same time. Okay, respect, blah, 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 saying thank you. Wow, finding a lost wallet with $200. And then what happened? Is that something kind? When you return the wallet, then it's kind, act, right? When you keep the wallet, it's an dishonest act, right? Okay. Okay, charity in an OH home, helping someone falling down. Very good. Okay, panic buying. Oh my goodness, yes. When we think about toilet paper, right? Um, there's this thing called hashtag toilet gate. Okay, it's not only happening in Singapore or the Asian countries, it's happening everywhere. Even in the US and, and Australia, it's happening everywhere. Okay, so it's my lifesaver. Yes, if that's the last row of toilet paper in the toilet. Okay, yes. Okay, cheer them up. You think about Corona? virus you think about give out free toilet roll as it's coronavirus time very interesting huh? we have people giving out masks hand sanitizer and then now this kind so wants to give out toilet paper very good okay stop by blah 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 okay let's see uh, what else do we have handicap giving money okay to the beggars okay somebody okay toilet paper very precious very good okay very good. Okay, so you you can continue to comment as I talk. Okay, so basically, did you go to the supermarket and you see the last row of toilet paper on the shelf? You grab it, you put it into your shopping trolley, and you walk away. Okay, another person comes along and like, oh my goodness, this person has just taken my last row of toilet paper. I have no more toilet paper at home. What do you do? Okay, and when you think about the last row of toilet paper at home. In your storeroom, what comes to your mind when that is like the last row of toilet paper? It's like, okay, I think it's about time to go to NTUC and buy toilet paper. But to your surprise, when you went there, the whole, all the shelves were wiped clean of toilet paper. There's no more toilet paper left and you have no more toilet paper at home. What do you do? Okay, so this is for our toilet paper idea. Okay, there are of course more ideas, but we are just throwing out ideas at this point in time. Okay, we'll teach you how to put them together later on. Okay, next we go on to the thank you note, which might be a bit easier for some of you to write a story about. Okay, you might have received a thank you note before, or you might have written a thank you note to a teacher, or to someone, to a friend before. Okay, so some ideas that come through your head. Let's use the 5 W and 1 H. Who received the note and why? What did he do? Or were you the one who received the note? Or did you write the note to somebody? Okay, the person receiving the note. Did the character deserve to receive this note? Or what was the kind of act carried out by him or her? So you can think of some other ideas for this. All right. Okay. Next, we have an image of a supermarket. All right. So why was the supermarket so crowded? Is it always like that? And what kind of kind act, what sort of kind act can happen in a situation like this? All right. So you can share some ideas that you can think of in the idea generation stage. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Imagine this was your shopping trolley um, at NTUC. What does this mean? Are you a panic buyer? Are you a hoarder? Because your whole trolley is nothing but toilet paper and tissue paper, right? So doing good in times of need like this right now, circuit breaker time, okay? Or maybe that day when the panic buying happened, it was so scary, right? Can you use this as a storyline for your composition? Because this experience is very unique, okay? You only experienced this in 2000, 2020. You didn't experience this in 2019. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So right now, this is what um, a tip that we can give you. How can real life events inspire you to write better stories? Okay. The PSLE markers are looking for realistic stories. Not stories of you in outer space or monsters eating you, okay? We are talking about real-life stories that happen every day. You are already in primary 6, you are 12 years old. What kind of realistic storylines can you think of, okay? And how, for the advanced writers, how could you possibly add a twist to your story? Could it be something surprising or unexpected, okay? So this is how you score a better mark for your compo. Um, because a kind act is a very easy story. And basically, um, people write very flat stories. It's just like 
um, what happened last year at PSLE, they talk about a celebration. Okay, a normal student is just not about a birthday celebration, a children's day celebration, but a good student will add a twist to the story and make their stories even more fantastic. All right. Okay, so some tips for parents, okay? So your daddy mommy is sitting next to you, ask your mommy, daddy, take notes, okay? Hmm. For daddies and mummies, this is what you can do. Please share simple newspaper articles like the one that you can find on the new paper. All right, short stories, short newspaper articles or Facebook articles uh, that you can see. Sometimes you see interesting articles, but please make sure that it's not fake news before you share with your little boys and girls, okay? Next, uh, another thing that daddy and mommy can help you with is by helping you to generate our brainstorm ideas together like what I did with you earlier on. Okay, because most students, they are stuck. They do not know where to go and don't know where, whether their ideas are practical uh, ideas that they could possibly use during their compo writing. So daddy, mummies and uh, can help by telling your child whether the idea that they just bounced off you, uh, are they realistic or not? Okay, over at Learning Journey, we want to work very closely with parents. All right. So our teachers will always give feedback to parents on how the child is doing in class, how the parent can support their child in their PSLE or their primary school journey. Because at primary school, most students are quite needy, still quite needy. And seeing them once a week in our centers may not be enough. So we believe that we must work closely with the parents so that we can support the child together in their journey. That's what we call learning journey, right? It's not just you. It's you and us and your mommy daddies as well. Okay, next. Okay, let me share with you some real stories. Huh? So I told your mommy daddy to do right, so I must do also, right? Okay, have you seen this in your um have you seen this in your leaf lobbies? Some of you stay in Pongo, right? What happened? Okay, some of your leaf lobbies, you see that there are some sanitizers that maybe a kind neighbor put on the lift in the lift lobby. Okay, a kind act. So a kind act done by your neighbors. All right, so this is like a real story, right? Real life, there's nothing fake about this. And what did the neighbor say? Please take one from your neighbor with love. Okay, so basically, isn't this a kind act? And this is a story that probably you didn't write before, right? How do you feel when you step into the lift and you saw the sanitizers there? Did you feel grateful? Do you feel thankful? Did you write a thank you note and give it back to your neighbor? Okay, so if you were to use this, you can already use one of the pictures that were given to you. Okay, another idea. Here you go. Very good. I see grateful. Okay, another idea. Um, there's these two hawkers, okay, very young hawkers. They are less than 30 years old. And you know, right, because of the COVID-19 situation, we practice social distancing. So all the hawker centers, you cannot eat there. You have to go and buy your food back. These two hawkers, they actually opened a hawker store, and but their hawker store is actually in the city area. But because right now everyone is working at home, right? So there's no customers visiting them. So their business has been affected. So what happens to them? Look at this. An 80-year-old blind man whom he promised to provide with one meal a day for a month. Okay, so these two hawkers decided that whoever comes to their store and say that they have no money for food, they will, pre they will actually um, give them food, okay, for as long as they are open, all right? Okay, next one. This one, there's another kind act. This is a real life situation, okay? Um, basically, there was a contractor, okay, who made a shoe rack for a couple. What did the couple do? The couple did a kind act by offering them food and drinks earlier on and what did he do he did something kind in return right and this phrase that you can learn from a newspaper article like this, this was actually on the streets time the phrase that you can learn here is kindness begets kindness okay so let's try to see how we can use this in our ending later on okay so basically to thank um the gentleman who gave him food and drinks he actually made a shoe rack and put it in front of um the neighbor to thank them, okay, for their kind act earlier on. Okay, so at this time, I'm going to pass the time over to Miss Ong, who is going to um, share with you some of the good phrases that you can possibly use when you are writing your essays, when you are writing a competition, okay? So Miss Ong, over to you. Okay. 
All right. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Wong. Okay, so I teach mostly the primary five and sixes in our center. Okay, I think I recognize some of the names in the list of, of attendees over here. Okay, so um, today I'll be sharing with you some good phrases you can use for your composition. Okay, the phrases we've picked up today are more specific to the title of a kind act. Okay, so we'll be covering three categories. Okay, looking at settings, characters, and feelings. Okay, right. So over here. So settings description. For a kind act, mostly we're talking about, I think we over in this case, we can be looking at the supermarket. A kind act being carried out at the supermarket. Okay, sorry, I think my video was not on just now. Okay, I hope everyone can see me now. I hope the audio is clear. Okay. All right. Okay, um, so I was talking about settings description at the supermarket. Can all of you, or maybe some of you, give me some good phrases you can use to describe what you can see or hear at a supermarket? Okay, you can make use of your five senses. That's really very important when it comes to description. Okay, let's see some of the responses over here. Some good phrases you can use to describe a supermarket. Fish smell, okay. Bustling supermarket, okay, I like that. Loud chattering, good. Animated cheddar, yes. Crowded together like sardines in a can, great. Okay, blinding lights. Yeah, actually true, some supermarkets are very bright. Okay, let's pack the sardines. Hustle bustle. Crowded with people. Okay, crowded with people, perhaps you could use um, pack like sardines instead. Okay. Air conditioning never failed to blow cold air at me. All right. Sense of touch, that one. Sea of people. Okay, sounds like you guys have a pretty good idea of what kind of settings description you can use um, at a supermarket. Okay. All right. So maybe we can move on from here. The Just now I did mention that the phrases we picked up <clears throat> specifically for this is more suitable for a kind act. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> So just now, um, somebody mentioned crowded with people, teeming with shoppers. Yeah, that's good. Okay, over here, we've picked up thronged with shoppers. Okay, so as you can see in the picture over there, okay, this is a phrase that is really easy to use. This busy supermarket was thronged with shoppers. Immediately, your language is elevated when you use such a good phrase. Okay, you can see more of jostling about in a hive of activity. That's good. Okay. So you can actually copy down some of the phrases that we are, will be going through right now. So make sure you still have a pen and paper with you. Okay, so we can move on to the next phrase, which is also a settings description on crowded places. So in supermarkets, you see a lot of shopping trolleys, right? So instead of saying things like, um, there were many trolleys around, okay? That would be acceptable maybe if you're in primary two. Okay, but if you're looking at upper primary level, we're looking for more um, uh, more descriptive phrases, okay? Something that really allows the reader to imagine, to create an image in their head. Okay, so over here we use the shopping trolleys creaked and groaned as the shoppers buzzed around in frenzy, wheeling the trolleys in the supermarket. Over here, can anyone identify for me like what kind of um, senses we're using over here? Can anyone say that? Okay, yeah, sense of hearing, creaking and groaning, shoppers buzzed around in frenzy, what would that be? That could also be sense of hearing and, and sight, right? Okay, great. I hope all of you have gotten this copy down. Okay, next one. Okay, so once again, crowded places. The loud chatter of eager housewives filled the supermarket. Okay, now perhaps this is not so suitable during this time of the COVID-19 because everyone's <laughs> mask up, right? Everyone's mask up, no one's really talking. You have to practice social distancing. Okay, so maybe not so suitable for this period. Or maybe you could say, I miss the loud chatter of eager housewives filling the supermarket. You miss that sound because everyone's so quiet in the supermarkets now. Okay, all right. All right, um, move on. Okay, now we're going to move on to character description. Okay, for character description, right, we don't just focus on how the 
characters look like. We can also describe the personality. Okay, so we move on to see what we can use over here. Okay, this one, um, amiable. Okay, anyone knows what amiable means? You can put it in a group chat. Friendly, good. Yep, the first answer is correct. Amiable means friendly. So the sentence we have over here, friendly and kind, that's correct. She was an amiable woman with a heart of gold. Okay, so um, over here, it could be used to describe a kind act that you witnessed. That woman was, a, was an amiable woman with a heart of gold, something like that. Okay, then we can move on. So this second one that we have is, um, you see an old man over there, okay, emaciated, scraggy. They're the same, mean, same meaning. Does anyone know what um, either of these words mean? Poor, not so much poor. Any other tries? Messy, not really. Skinny, bony, that's correct. Okay, emaciated and scraggy means somebody is skinny, somebody is bony, thin bone. Okay, bone thin, I mean. Okay, so over here, that scraggy beggar squatting outside the supermarket <clears throat> looked as if he had not eaten for days. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me just have a sip of water first. Yes, yes, sure. I can take over. Hey, we are so matching, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm all yeah. pink and you're all blue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come. Yeah. Right. So, okay. Um, come. Yeah. So the scraggy beggar, this sentence over here is actually inspired by what I've seen. I, there's a supermarket near my house and I always see this old man sitting outside. Sometimes the people park will give him food and money and yeah, most of the time he'll be over there. It's, he's quite a poor thing really. Okay, so yeah, I got inspired by that event, okay, to come up with this sentence over here. Okay, right, and next one. Okay, a toothless smile, okay. The old man gave me an enduring toothless smile when I helped him with his grocery bags. Okay, do your grandparents have a toothless smile? Or like, are they wearing dentures? <laughs> okay, all right, so um, maybe if you help somebody, okay, you can use this phrase. How he returned your kindness, he gave you a nice smile. Sometimes just a nice smile from somebody after you're helping them. Mix, mix, mix a day, really. Right? Okay. So next one we're going to be looking at is um, actually one of the most important we have over here is feelings description. Okay. A composition without feelings description is very empty. Okay. How you remember to write in feelings description? Every time an action happens, okay, ask yourself, oh, so this happened. How does my character feel? So in, if you if you train yourself to think that way, you will never be you will never miss out on writing your feelings description. Okay, after an action happens, what do the characters feel? Okay, so in this case over here, also related to the topic of a kind act. Okay, um, dying of boredom. Okay, so all of you, all of us are being trapped at home right now. Okay, so this one will come will be very suitable for the situation right now. Dying of boredom from being cooped up at home. He agreed to accompany his mother to the supermarket. Okay, right. So I think a lot of you will be able to relate to this. Any opportunity to get out of your house, you'll be like, me, 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 me. I want to get out, right? Okay, next one. A smile radiated on her face. Okay, so you see whether you can relate to this or maybe your parents. A smile radiated on her face when she noticed the packet of toilet rolls on the shelf. It was the last packet. Okay, so it could be the moment whereby you want to reach out, okay, for the last packet of toilet rolls, and then somebody else also reaches out for the same thing. Then that will lead to the climax, right? So would that smile be wiped off her face? Okay, what happens next? Okay, and next one we have over here. Okay, heave the sigh of relief. All right, um, we heave the sigh of relief when we finally reach the front of the long snaking queue. Okay, I'm sure all of you have seen pictures of the super crowded um, supermarket, okay, when we had the panic buying issue going on. So we can use the word long snaking queue. That's part of settings phrases, okay? This one we have, okay? So after all that has happened, after the kind deck has taken place, okay, how does the character feel? You can use this gratitude instead of saying she felt thankful. All right. You can say gratitude filled her heart. Okay. Um, our phrase over here is 
Upon receiving that last packet of toilet rolls from the kind lady, gratitude filled her heart. So this simply yes. We have some hardworking students who are asking you to slow down so that they can copy the phrases. <laughs> so we'll slow down just a little bit. Yeah, so that they, they can copy. Yeah, very hardworking students, very good. Okay, I'll credit to you guys, huh? Okay. So please um you can write, we'll pause for a while, let you copy yes. down some of the phrases. Okay, can, 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 we are going too fast. You know why we're going like a bullet train? Because the time check now is 8.42. We are supposed to end by 9 o'clock so that all you can get to bed early, okay? Okay, so, yes. okay, so please take, uh, please take your time to just scr scribble down some of the phrases. Yes, Miss Ong, you can I continue. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Mm, I'll just continue from here. I think it's fine, okay? Mm. Okay. So um, this phrase is super useful, copy that now. And actually we wanted everyone to come up with a sentence using this phrase. So if you could think of one, perhaps you could just put it in the chat. Okay. Yes, I will, we would like you guys to do some sentence making uh, practices like what our students do in our live classes. They get to try to make the sentences so that we can see whether the sentences are used correctly or not. So everyone, can you just learn this? This phrase called gratitude fill her heart. You can change the phrase accordingly to suit your situation. Make me a sentence, uh, make us a sentence using gratitude fill her heart. And then you can use it at the back or the front of the, the sentence. Okay, just try. Okay, can we make, can we use other sentence? No, we want you to learn this phrase because every time we talk about a kind act our students i mean most students will go like thank you thank you la i thank her very much i thank her for profusely but why don't you use a better phrase like this gratitude filled her heart when so miss ong can you show the example that you, you okay we'll show the example yes this is the example yeah this is the example sentence that we are giving you okay so upon receiving the last packet of toilet rolls from the kind lady okay or from the lady with a heart of gold Gratitude filled my heart. Okay, so please try, please try, so that oh yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of um sentences coming in now. Oh my god, this is like classic. When she finally got to eat McDonald's, gratitude filled my heart. I think this person must really miss McDonald's a lot. I miss bubble tea. Can someone buy me bubble tea? I'll be very gratitude will fill my heart when I receive like bubble tea from my students. Right, I'll be so happy. Okay, come. So me, me, me. Okay, who? Would you prefer bubble tea or you prefer McDonald's, right? Okay. I hope everyone's learning something useful from our session. Okay. Bubble tea is open. Toilet roll. Yes, when you receive the last packet of toilet roll. Yes, like this. When the kind man gave you a lollipop, no? Gratitude filled his heart or your heart. Okay, this is good. Gratitude filled the heart of healthcare workers who are honoured by their very own line of action figures. Okay, very good. Wow, I see that you guys have like really good sentences. I really hope you will put this into your compo. Okay, because right after this, we are going to give you holiday homework to do. Ta da Okay, that's the price of attending my online lessons. Okay, um, we would like to give you guys some holiday homework to do and practice. Okay, I think your mommy and daddies would want to do that to you too. So evil, right? Okay, but never mind. It's okay, it's for your own good. All right. Okay, can we have more sentences? Okay, very good. Wow. Okay, I think we're going to continue uh, on Miss Ong because we don't have um, much time. It's 8.45 right now. Yes. Yep. yep. So for my part, that's about it. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn. Okay, so Miss Ong, you can continue moderating the <laughs> millions of messages yeah. coming in. Okay. Okay, so it's back to me right now. Okay, so right now, um, after you have the meat of your essay, your composition, all right, you already have phrases to use for describing feelings, for your settings, and for your characters, okay? So your essay is going to look like it's um, more complete now, okay? Most students, if you just write the stories without any of this good vocabulary, it's going to be a bit hard to score on the language component of your compose, okay? so um. Please don't overuse the phrases. Uh, use them suitably. Use them correctly. That's why we're asking you to make sentences. Because if you have got... You're dump, dumping phrases in your compost, it's not going to work. Okay? You need to use them correctly. You need to be able to spell them correctly. Okay? 
you need to be able to spell the words and the phrases that you're going to use. If you're going to use gratitude, please, mean, please make sure that you can spell it correctly, all right, so that you don't lose any marks when it comes to the usage. Okay, next, we're going to give you some ideas on how you can possibly um, start and end your stories. So just take note that um, for what we're going to teach, it's more for the advanced writers, all right? Uh, for the upper primary students, you can try this out, all right? Okay, so this is what's going to happen, all right? Okay, so this is an idea that we're going to give you um, if you were to use uh, toilet rolls uh, as a flashback um, object. Okay, usually for flashbacks, it's easier to use uh, an object, okay, than to use a place. Because if you were going to use a place at a supermarket, I mean like uh, during normal times, you go to the supermarket quite often, at least once a week. And it can't be like every time you go to the supermarket, you get a flashback. Yes, you can say I use toilet paper every day, so I'm going to get a flashback every time I use toilet paper. No, it could just be that fateful last row of toilet paper that you have in your storeroom. Okay, so this is um, a suggestion. All right, you can change it as you need to, but please don't copy this down and write it into the compo that you're going to submit it to me, uh, submit to me, okay? Because if you do that, I'm going to ask you to rewrite the introduction for me. All right, so um, at Learning Journey, we give, we give students a lot of model compos from their fellow students to read, but they're not encouraged to copy and paste exactly word for word. All right, your stories have got to be original. You're not supposed to copy anything um, from anywhere and plonk it into your compo. That doesn't work. Okay, so um, this is a suggestion I have. As I stared at the last row of toilet paper in my storeroom, vivid memories of the of my last visit to the supermarket. Last visit because you know after this circuit breaker, I mean when this circuit breaker thing started, you were saying that okay, only one person can go to the supermarket at one time, and they actually advise for children uh, not to leave the house. As well as if you're going to the supermarket, you're supposed to go alone. So you can't bring your whole family and go to the supermarket together like a shopping trip. No. Okay? Vivid memories of the, my last visit to the supermarket flashed through my mind. It could be the time when before they had this lockdown and then we could still freely go to the supermarket. Okay? I remember the smile on the face of the kind old lady. It all happened like this. Okay? So this is when you're going to start flashing back to your story. Okay? Um, let me just share with you a way to end the story then. Okay, so when you end the story that you started with a flashback, you have to go back to present time. You can't flash and don't come back. All right, you're going to fill your essay. Okay, you're going to fill your compo. So you can end it like this. So Jamie, come and help me with my groceries. Okay, and you were standing at the storeroom with the last row of toilet paper in your hand, right? So you freeze there. And then who who's calling you? My mother hollered from the front gate. I, I believe we all have a front gate, right? Okay. And jotted me from my recollection. So you were like time freeze holding that toilet paper and freezing there for your flashback. And then suddenly your mom calls you and you were like, oh, okay. While I was lost in my thoughts, I failed to notice that my mother had returned home from a weekly grocery shopping. Maybe COVID-19 is over and then we all get to go to the supermarket every day as we want. So as you open up the front gate to help your mom, what were you greeted by? You were greeted by the sight of rolls of toilet paper that your mom just bought from the supermarket. Okay, so this could be one way that you could use to end your story possibly. All right, but for the lower primary students, okay, or if you're a, a writer who's not very um, proficient yet, okay, one way that you could possibly end the story is by ending it with a proverb as well. Okay, so how could you possibly end with a problem? Can you um, can you guys tell me what was the proverb that I shared with you just now earlier? Can you tell me? Can you type in the chat? What was the proverb that I shared for those who are paying attention to what I was saying? Remember the newspaper article I was sharing you just now? What was the proverb that I was sharing? Problem, proverb, sorry. Okay, no, not the early bird. The early bird, uh, yes, when I was sharing. Oh, very good. Everybody was, um, everybody is paying attention. Good job. Okay, so if you have heard of the proverb, a kindness begets kindness, okay, how can you use that in your ending? Okay, this is what you can do. Okay, so you can end with a proverb, okay, or a suggestion. Uh, at Learning Journey, we teach seven to eight types of ending techniques that you can use in your combo writing. And this is one way that you could do, 
Okay, so um, for those in the lower primary, primary three, primary four students, okay, you can try this out. So after this incident, I finally understood the true meaning of the saying, kindness begets kindness. Okay, I promised that I would learn from the kind lady and show genuine acts of kindness whenever I can to people around me. Okay, so it's not just throwing a proverb into your ending. Okay, it's also adding a suggestion on what you could do for the future. All right, so this is how you could lengthen your conclusion and make it a bit more complete. All right, then just learning, then just writing, um, I learned a lesson today, full stop. And some students do write that for their exams. Please don't do that. Okay, it's not um, ideal. Okay, right now, um, we are almost coming. I'm going to share more free resources with you guys, okay? Give me a moment, please. Okay, so we are going to, um, for the first time ever, we are going to share with everybody um, a holiday composition practice that you can do for this May holidays, all right? You can download this. We'll be putting up the links on our website as well as our Telegram. So please go to our Telegram and find the download link there all right you can download this you can share this with your friends and get them to write their essays during the holidays all right and after you're done writing your essays okay your compose you can ask your daddy and mommy to have a look for you if you have a tuition teacher you can ask your tuition teacher to help you with that if you're in learning journey of course we will mark and go through the mistakes with you but if you do not have anyone to mark it for you you can consider this marking package it's actually a one-time composition marking whereby you will submit your essay to us you pay $35 a combo and within seven to ten working days our teachers at learning journey will mark and return the essay to you with comments okay and from there you can do a second draft okay so that will at least help you to find out what's wrong with your compost the comments will be very comprehensive and will identify the areas of weaknesses that you can work on. Okay, the next thing that I want to just share with everybody is that we do have some workshops coming up and we do have this place that you can find uh, online classes that you can attend. It's called the Online English Classroom. Um, we are collaborating with them and this is where you can find all our live online classes as well as our holiday classes as well. We have holiday classes from primary one to second, uh, from preschool. Um, to primary school students, to secondary and JC students as well. And for those who have bought my assessment book, this one, all right, and you have no idea how to use the techniques on at the front of the book, okay, we are going to conduct a special workshop whereby you can attend and we will teach you exactly how to use those techniques to get above 12 marks for your comprehension course. All right, and for those who have downloaded, who have not downloaded your free model, uh, free A star, how to write A star compo, as well as model compo uh, compositions book, please head over to Learning Journey. You can find the links. Um, our admin will be posting the links very soon. Okay, so uh, Miss Ong, you take over the moderating so that our admin can post the links as well. Okay, and we do have some other um, holiday programs for those who did not take your mid year exams. If you would like to take our mid-year mock exams together with uh, correction and analysis sessions as well as techniques on how to ace your compositions and paper 2 workshop, you can consider this package. All right. And we also have got live oral sessions. For those who are not good at your oral, if you need to have live oral sessions with our teachers to practice, you can consider this. All right. And we also have an all-in-one package to um, for you to consider. Okay. So I... I am at 8.59 now and I shall end this session um, over here. If you have any more comments for us, okay, please write them down in the chat and we will try to get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, okay, so please head over to our, our um, okay, we're going to pin, we're going to pin, um, hi admin, are we going to pin the links to our chat? right now because the chat is flooded with people we're gonna put the links out for everybody okay the links are already pinned there you can click the pin um, message over here what happens when we are not available from lesson okay okay let me see okay so for those who are keen to write the composition and submit to us for marking you can let your mommy know Okay, and let mommy um, help you with the signing up of the composition marking session. All right. Okay, 
I hope everyone has enjoyed the session today. So if you are interested to hear more of this, um, uh, hear more, um, if you're interested to have us conduct more of such free uh, lessons for you, okay, please join our mailing list so that we can inform you right away when we publish the next free lesson. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. It's nine o'clock right now. And thank you, Ms. Ong. Thank you very much for the admin team and the moderators team for working hard. I hope everyone has enjoyed yourselves. Okay. So have a good rest and enjoy the rest of your school holidays. Bye.